It's the Reverend Sean Ferguson for City on the Hills Ministries. I'm sitting in my living room and I woke up today and I've been troubled over some things. And you know, we all fight our personal battles. And experience is sometimes our best teacher. I've went through some of the last five years has been some of the hardest of my life. And I had the death of my mother was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through because I love that woman so, and she was a godly woman and she suffered for a year and four months. And, uh, I thought, God, how, when, why, you know, I've questioned God, why a woman that loves you so much has to suffer so bad. <clears throat> and when he died, she died, God had to teach me some things. You know, through the sufferings that we go through, God is teaching us. And when we go through them at the time, it's it's not pleasant. It's it's hard. It hurts. But I'm glad that the Bible says, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So there's times and there's things that are out of our hands. The only thing I know to do is to put it in God's hands. When it's too big and I'm overwhelmed, I just give it to Jesus. And I'm hoping there's something I'm going to say today and do that will bless your soul. I know we're all fighting spiritual battles. We're all struggling in one way or another. And I'm glad that the Holy Spirit is working on us. Amen. And I just have been troubled about some things. And some things you can't tell about. It's between you and God. But I know when I'm tried and I'm tested and I know through experience is our best teacher. And like I said, through five years ago, I lost my mom. I've lost many people. It's been barely a month I've lost my dad. Uh, just God has taught us some things. And when I was overwhelmed and truly without the Lord's help, I would have... I would have truly fell back. I was miserable. And he taught me to trust him. That's what all the pain and hardship and hurt taught me, is to trust God. And he let me know that in those testing times, and times when I felt I was alone, times when I wondered and I questioned God why, that I was never truly alone. That he was always with us. Jesus said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. And that's a promise that you can depend on. If God says that God is not like a man, he will not lie. And it's in the hard times is when I felt, when my dad was dying, that's when I felt God pull so close. He proved he was the God of all comfort. And you know, God will back his word up if he says he's the God of all comfort and he's the Prince of Peace. Amen. It's one thing to read about it and it's another thing to experience the peace of God. The peace, hallelujah, I feel the Spirit speaking about it. The Holy Spirit as he touches you, glory to God. There's there's not another feeling of comfort and peace. You, you can feel a lot of things that will comfort you, a, a hug from your mother and you know, as good as they are, there's nothing like the comfort of God. There's nothing like the Spirit of God. He's the best teacher. Amen. And uh, so I'm just going to go into some scripture here. David said, I will lift up my eyes in Psalms 121 unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. So we see David, when he was overwhelmed, he looked to God, amen, and he looked to the one who created the heavens and the earth. God knows our thoughts are far off, amen, he knows exactly who we are, and the Bible says he will not let anything come upon us that he, we cannot bear, and there's times I say, God, you must think I have some broad shoulders because there's a lot I'm going through. And you know, if you're living for Christ and you're living right, there will be battles that you'll face. 
But thank God you're not alone. The Bible says, casting your cares upon him, talking about Christ, for he cares for you. And I'm glad that in every situation, God is with us. Remember this, saints of God, if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. And I'm glad that I know one, hallelujah, amen, that will never leave me. He said, lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the earth. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'm with you always to the end of the earth. Amen. There, there's people you can't depend on. They'll leave you. They'll forsake you. They'll turn their backs on you. Amen. They'll, they'll stab you in the back. They'll let you down. But my God will never fail you. Hallelujah. You put your faith and your trust in him. He will pull you through whatever problem you have. Just trust him. Amen. He's not asking you to understand it. Amen. We're not meant to understand everything. Amen. He's just saying, trust me, depend on me, come to me for a refuge, come under the shadow of my wings. Let me protect you. Amen. Let my spirit guide you. It's what the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and we are led by the spirit of God. Amen. If we trust in God and trust in him, hallelujah, and pray, uh, glory to God. That's one thing we must do. Uh, when we're going through hard times, pray, glory to God, without ceasing, the Bible says. Uh, amen. Get into the word of God. Search it out. Uh, amen. The Bible has all the answers that we need. Glory to God. It's written in black and red. Amen. You can find their answer in the word of God. Uh, amen. And God will minister to your heart. He'll speak to you. Glory to God. Uh, and some things he's got to bring upon us because we're too busy to listen and too busy to hear and we got too much carnality in our life amen to listen to the spirit when he speaks to us that God's got to get us to a place where we'll seek his face and call upon his name and then the verse 3 says he will not suffer thy foot to be moved but that he that keepeth thee will not slumber Amen. My God is a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off. Amen. He don't sleep, glory to God. He's a God that's always attentive unto our needs. Amen. Glory to God. He'll bless us uh, and, and lead us and guide us. David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. God will never forsake his own. Amen. He will lift you up and hold you up. The Bible says, though a righteous man falls seven times, the Lord will lift him up. Glory to God. Amen. It's you've got to have the gumption. If you fail God, amen. And if you fail God and you fall into sin, amen, just say, Lord, forgive me and help me and forsake that sin. The Lord will lift you up. Hallelujah. Amen. My Lord will carry you. Hallelujah. He'll give you strength. Glory to God. When you think you have none. Amen. He'll give you courage to fight a battle. Hallelujah. When it seems like glory to God, it seems like the, the, the cards are stacked against you. The battle's going against you. But if you'll trust in the Lord, amen, he will bring you victory. And sometimes when you've done all that you can do, stand, hallelujah, stand and see. They, uh, the Moses said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Sometimes it don't happen when we want it to, amen. We got to be patient and wait on God. But if you trust God and you have faith, amen, as a grain of mustard seed, you can speak to whatever obstacle, that mountain that's in your way, hallelujah, and it'll be plucked asunder and put into the sea, amen. It's not talking about a physical mountain. It's talking about a spiritual mountain. Whatever's blocking your access to get your blessing or, or get what you need or get your prayer answered or, you know, there's things that we must seek God about. Amen. There are things that's out of our hands and we must put it in the hands of God. And I know it's talking about Israel in this Psalm, but you can put your name here too, because my God's a personal God. He's a personal savior. Jesus Christ loves his own. Amen. He loves everybody. The Bible says we're not our own. We're bought with a price. And that price is the precious blood of Christ. Hallelujah. And don't you know God cares for you? If he, if he attends every funeral, that a sparrow that falls from the sky and dies. Amen. And the Father knows it. How much more are we more precious than many sparrows? Amen. It says, he, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Hallelujah. God's got an ever watchful eye on you. Hallelujah. Don't you know God protects his own? Amen. The angels of the Lord are camped around about them that fear and love God. Amen. If God could remove the, the blinders from our eyes, amen, we live in the natural. Amen. We, 
we live in, in, in the temporal, amen, but God works in the supernatural, amen, God works in the spirit, if God could give us spiritual eyes, amen, we would see the angels camped around about us, uh, amen, we'd see them protecting us, amen, God only knows how many pitfalls and snares and traps the devil has tried to lay it out for you and I, but he has kept his hand of protection upon us. Uh, hallelujah. Because we've trusted in him. Let me tell you, God will not forsake you and God will not turn his back on you. If you'll hold true to God and you're walking uprightly before the Lord and you're living the life according to his word. Amen. I'm not talking about you're going out and doing sin and, and living a life of sin. Amen. Glory to God, because you'll walk away from God. That's your that, that's something you've got to deal with and ask God to help you and forgive you uh, and forsake that sin. But if you're honest and you're living upright, walking uprightly before the Lord, amen, there will be problems that come your way. But glory to God, God will give us victory if you'll trust in him. He says, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The Lord is my protector. He's my keeper. Amen. The Spirit of God will lead you and guide you and protect you. Glory to God. The Bible says we're sealed to the day of redemption. Amen. Glory to God. The Spirit of God will seal us to the day of redemption. Amen. If we'll walk uprightly before the Lord, he said, he said he'd with no, hold no good thing from us. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says uh, he wants us to prosper and be in good health even as our soul prospers. Pardon me for the camera moving. I just had to turn the scripture. And uh, I'm not going to keep you much longer, but I just want to encourage somebody in the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in verse 26 of Romans, and 8 and 26, pardon me, it says, likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for, who we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Hallelujah. That's why it's so needful to be, be baptized in the Holy Ghost. That's why it's so needful to seek the Spirit of God. Amen. And, and, and to know uh, the Spirit of God that is in you will help your infirmities. Amen. He'll give you grace and mercy and peace. Amen. He'll give you strength. Amen. That you knew not that you had. Amen. And he'll guide you and he'll comfort you and he'll help you along the way. It's the Spirit of God. Amen. And it says, he searcheth the hearts, talking about the spirit, and knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit, because he makes intercession for us, uh, for the saints, according to the will of God. Amen. The spirit of God will make intercession between us and God. Amen. He'll take our prayers to the Lord. Amen. And it'll, if it's God's will to answer the way we want, then that'll be great. If it's God's will, uh, whatever his will is in our life, we must say, Lord, I accept it. Amen. You know what's best for me, and I'm going to go on and serve you, God. Hallelujah. It says, and we know all things work together for good to them that love God, and to them who are called according to his purpose. God can take a bad situation and work it out for his glory. If you'll just trust in him. Amen. He's an anchor for your soul today. Amen. When the storms of life are brewing, you could trust in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's a cornerstone. He's a tried stone. Hallelujah. He's one that'll hold up when the storms of life come. Amen. And he'll pick you up and hold you up too. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, glory to God. It says, for we know all th things, all that, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, also he did predestinate. Let me get this Bible. Predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And that's what these trials and things we're going through, these hardships. God's molding us and making us into the image of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're putting off the fleshly man and we're putting on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're putting on that spiritual man. Uh, amen. That, that is following after God. We're pursuing God. Amen. And we want to be holy. We want to be live in sanctification, those who are saved. And we want to do what's right. Amen. Glory to God. I know we're not saved by good works, but when you're saved, good works will follow. Glory to God. Amen. You don't want to shun the old nature of yourself, who, who you used to be before you got saved. Amen. We've been made a new creature, a new creation in Christ. Amen. But sometimes that old man wants to rise up again. That old sinful lifestyle, that old sin that we used to 
uh, uh, battle with uh, glory to God. We must keep it under subjection to the blood. We must keep it under subjection to the spirit and trust in God to help us. Amen. And then he says to this, moreover, who he did predestinate, almost he called to whom he called. He also justified. Hallelujah. We are justified in the eyes of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't you glad to know that the Lord Jesus Christ justifies us and whom he justified, then he also glorified. One day, heaven will be real. Amen. We're going to be walking on streets of literal gold. We're going to see gates of jasper, uh, 12, uh, I mean, gates of pearl, uh, 12 foundations. Uh, one, but most of all, I want to see my Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to be reunited with loved ones, but I want to see the one who died for me. Hallelujah. I want to see the one who who helped me and comforted me uh, and gave me life and life abundantly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to just worship and fall at his feet and praise him. Hallelujah. And just love him. Glory to God. And tell him, I'm thank you, Lord, for all the times you've been there and how you bless my life, Lord, and how I was so unworthy, Lord, but you're so worthy of all praise and glory. Amen. Glory to God. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who could be against us? Hallelujah. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us uh, all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things, according to the will of God? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Christ Jesus makes intercession for us. Amen. He is the mediator of the blood of the, uh, the new covenant. Hallelujah. He loves us today. Glory to God. And he takes our prayers up to the Father. Amen. The Spirit of God will intercede for us to the Christ. And Christ takes our spirit, I mean, our prayers to the Father. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and then Paul says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Listen to this. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As is written, for this sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. That's what you need to tell your trial right now. Amen. That's what you need to tell your temptation. Amen. That's what you need to tell whatever you're going through, that you're more than a conqueror. Tell the devil, amen, that he has been defeated at Calvary. Hallelujah. Christ des destroyed the powers of darkness. Uh, amen. He destroyed the power of sin. Amen. Because he came, became sin and knew no sin. Hallelujah. Amen. He took our sins and nailed it to the cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He died and then bled for our sins. Amen. We are not the same people. We have been born again of the Spirit of God. Uh, our sins are washed under the blood of the Lamb. Uh, amen. Cast as far as the east is from the west, never to be brought up against us anymore. Hallelujah. That devil's a liar. He's an accuser of the brethren, but I'm glad to know, amen, that Jesus Christ, the lion of the tribe of Judah, has destroyed him. Hallelujah. He took the power of death and hell. He stripped him uh, and he's got the keys. Uh, he came and took devil's uh, keys from death, hell, and the grave. Uh, amen. And he rose again. Glory to God. And he sits at the right hand of God. Uh, amen. Calvary was not Christ defeat, but it was a victory. Hallelujah. Amen. On that day, all those man's kind sins were paid in full. Hallelujah. By the blood of the lamb. Hallelujah. By the lamb of God. Jesus is that lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. And the power of death and hell was destroyed. Hallelujah. And glory to God. And now the, when Christ said it was finished, uh, that veil, that temple uh, veil was torn from top to bottom. Hallelujah. Letting us know that whosoever will could come on in and to the presence of God. Amen. Can come on in and be ushered into the Holy of Holies. Glory to God. Amen. We don't have to look for a, a priest to come, go in once a year for the people. Amen. But we've got direct access to God. Hallelujah. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah. And let me tell you what, God will defend you. He'll fight for your battles. Amen. We are not our own. Let me tell you, let the line of the tribe of Judah, amen, that lives inside of you, roar at that devil. Amen. Through Christ Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, 
Jesus Christ, the devils tremble and all hell uh, shakes in their boots. Amen. Glory to God. Because greater is he than he that is within you. Hallelujah. And that's Christ Jesus. And that's the Spirit of God. And you are the fathers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Greater is he that's within you uh, than he that's in the world. Glory to God. And Christ is going to bring you through victorious today if you trust in him. It says, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Paul goes on to say, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, what you're presently going through, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing we're going through can separate us from the love of God. Nothing you're facing today, hallelujah, will separate you from the love of God. Just trust in God. Let him be your uh, grace and mercy and peace. Amen. Let him fight your battles. Glory to God. Give it to God. Hallelujah. Let God arise, the Bible says, and his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Speak the name of Jesus to that problem and believe by faith. Amen. Glory to God. And see that mountain removed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me tell you, my God can do the impossible. He works the miraculous. Amen. And let me tell you, this is, this is nothing, we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. He's wanting to make people trip up. He's wanting us to backslide and fail God. But this is Reverend Sean Ferguson for City on the Hills Ministries. And I hope there's something I've said today to encourage somebody. God bless you. We love you in the Lord. And if you ever need a prayer request, I will do my very best to pray. Send me uh, on my messenger. Uh, and I will pray for you. We will seek the face of God. And please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Reverend Sean. Oh, I'm sorry. It's City on the Hills Ministries, Reverend Sean Ferguson. God bless you. We love you. And I'm going to be preaching uh, here soon. And help me to pray. God's opening some doors for me. And help me pray that God will help me to reach and save souls. This is Reverend Sean Ferguson, City on the Hill Ministries. We love you. God bless you. Lift up your head and look unto the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from the Lord. Trust in him today. Amen. God bless you.